If you look at the evolution of the soul, you could imagine that we all are living in a big building. Our goal is the penthouse, but we start in the basement. We all live at the same address, but our experience off that address is very different. Some of us have a great view, some of us only see a little light coming from the high window. Living in basement is like this, the mortgage is low. The view is crap. You live in fear, people steal, abuse and use violence. You feel like a victim. You worry. You are in survival mode. You take things very personal. Are you looking at me? You ask of others, you fix me. You ask. What can I get from you? Who is guilty? You have a low self-esteem. No new impulses. Your ego rules. Your appetites are exterior. You believe in separation. You emphasize the differences in religions, politics etc. Demand us. God is looked at as an off-planet entity. God gives a lot of rules, and misfortune is seen as punishment. When you evolve and start to question your thoughts and emotions, when you do that and when you start to question your existence and your being, you can better yourself and you move up a few floors. Living in the middle of a building is like this. The mortgage is higher. The view is better, you start to notice the beauty outside some trees and fields. You are not in fear all the time, you start to trust other people, you worry less. You start to relax a bit. For answers you do not only look at others, you start to look inside yourself. You ask not only, what can I take from you, but also, what can I give? You start to do things for other people. You get room in your head for creativity. Your ego still rules but does get overruled sometimes by your soul. You count your blessings more. You are not seeking to fulfill your appetites and things outside of you every time. Sometimes you can see things from another point of view and your belief in goodness increases. Your beliefs are subject of contemplation. You see how nature works and that unfortunate events are not always a punishment. You can take things more as they come. This is all very nice, but you can get even higher. Living at the top floors of the building is like this. The mortgage is high. The view is fabulous, you can now see the sea. Your neighbors are very nice people. You hardly worry, your life is good. You actively start to look how you can help others. You start to see that love is not just an emotion but more an act of your will. You can decide to love. You are not looking for love at all the wrong places, you start to see the infinite source of love within yourself. You stop to blame others for your misfortune. You consider things to be less personal. Enjoying and creating art, become a part of your life, or you are very creative at other things, like starting a business. You start to see the difference between thoughts of your ego and thoughts of your soul. You start to look for answers in yourself. You start to care for having positive emotions and you care for adding positive energy in situations. You start to see how you can decide, to have positive emotions. You thoughts about God and your own being start to evolve. Okay. But. Now we get to our goal. The penthouse. The mortgage is high. The view is spectacular. You have a perfect overview. You love your neighbors as yourself. You do not worry at all, you trust the universe. Fear is banished from your life's experience. Your thoughts and emotions are carefully monitored by you. You do not take things personal anymore. You are not a victim of anyone anymore. Your appetites are interior. You have a very high self-esteem, but you are humble at the same time. You see that giving to others is giving to yourself. You do not see separation anymore, you believe in oneness. You have discovered fully the infinite source of love within yourself and you live, and hand out, from that every day. God is in everything and everyone. No rules, but you start to discover, and play with, the laws of the universe. God is love, and is in your being, and in all.
mortgage is the first thing mentioned in every part of the building. It is not money, obviously, but your responsibility. Like in life, if you get older more things are expected from you. As it is with the evolution of your soul, the more you know, the more is expected. If you live at the top of a building, you don't lie, steal, or hurt others. You don't blame others. You don't believe in luck or separation anymore. Fear is gone, the universe is considered abundant. You don't search for answers outside of yourself, for answers you look inside. This looks very hard, some skills you develop in the cellar, you have to get rid of in the higher levels. But it are the only known means to survive for you. But consider this, if a child just learned that 2 plus 2 is 4, and it looks at a blackboard full with equations, its heart sinks in his shoes. But the moment when he has learned these equations, it is easy. So do not give up. And as always, do not judge yourself if you find yourself on a particular floor. All floors are needed. This video is made so that you can take heart and see things in a bigger perspective. And that there is a way out, up. Do you notice that a person who succeeded in society, does not necessarily live at the top floor, and that a humble person does not automatically live in this basement? And that you can say that when your soul evolves, things move from the outside to the inside. In this basement you look outside of you, for solutions or love. Penthouse persons find love, fulfillment, God, inside themselves. You can also look at life as a platform game. You grow with the levels, levels you first found hard are easy later. Every platform game, however, has an end boss. Oh dear. What would that be? And how can we defeat it? That is for next time. And now, love yourself and give yourself a break. Observe your thoughts and emotions and try to make them more positive. So that you can move up the floors. I hope this helps. Till next time.